What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis suffers an injury in sparring, and his future for 2021 as the result is in the air. Davis, of course, is considered one of the top dogs at 135 pounds. He holds the WBA Super World title at junior lightweight and the WBA World secondary title at lightweight. Then has tweeted that he suffered a hand injury in sparring, putting his first fight date for 2021 in the midst. He said, I hurt my hand in sparring today. The 26-year-old Davis, 24 and 0 with 23 knockouts, is a key young attraction, of course, for the PBC Floyd Mayweather Productions. Okay. Um, basically, Devontae Tank Davis is the guy that's looking for these possible fights um, with these other fighters. The lightweight division is probably the best division around in boxing right now. You know, it's you know, it's 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 weird how boxing fluctuates through the popularity of weight classes, and Javante Tank Davis is a major player in that particular weight class which is a great thing because he's talented. He's very, very powerful. Um, I think the thing he does lack is motivation um, and um, drive. But I think those things can be corrected because he does put in work when he does. He might be in the wrong weight class, but he's in this weight class. He hurt his hand in sparring, so let's counter punch. Okay. It sucks when you get in any injury, you know, it goes with the territory, you know, and then the last thing you want to do is put a fighter in the ring, they've injured themselves. So if Tank Davis is hurt and Tank Davis knows that he needs to recover, I think that was a wise decision, okay, on that, on, you know, on this hand, I think this, it was a wise decision to, hey, yeah, I, you know, I don't know if I'm going to fight because, hey, I hurt my hand. You know what I mean? Hand, shoulder, you know, eye. You're injured, you're injured. You need recovery. So I'm, I'm not really for anybody that really goes in there half cocked and, hey, I got this problem and then something happens and you know you're not 100% and you get beat. Okay, that, if that's a legitimate reason, you totally shit it all over. Why? Because you didn't tell anyone, like Manny Pacquiao about his show dad, right? He didn't tell anyone about that. So how do we know and use that as reference to go back and, and some explanation on why this happened or why that happened? You know, so I have to commend him on that. However, on the other hand, okay, we have to talk about the possibility of, hey, I hurt my hand today. A lot of that shit goes unnoticed. You know, and, and it depends on how did he hurt his hand, you know. Um, you know, we go into semantics with that. But at the end of the day, we're looking at a guy that's supposed to have these huge fights with all these top dogs. And you have advocates like Mike Tyson, you know, pushing these fights and pressuring these fights to happen on his huge platform on YouTube. Right. And on the other uh, other social media platforms. And all of a sudden, you end up hurt in sparring. A lot of people might see maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe it is. But then again, it is very convenient for that to happen right now. Very convenient. <laughs> you know, I'm going to fight Teofimo or I'm going to fight Ryan Garcia or whatever. Or, I'm, you know, I'm in lines to fight these top dogs finally at 26 years of age. And now I hurt myself. So I can see how people would question like, yo, is, is, was something really wrong with him or he's just not ready for those type of fighters and they tr still need to carry him a little bit further. So you, it, it's a lot of ways you can look at that. But again, if he's hurt, he needs to recover. And it's a good thing besides going to a fight knowing that you have an injury. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Javante Tank Davis being injured before, uh, before his fight tell me what you think please subscribe and you guys can counterpunch peace